Try being really, really gentle. And then I got to hold my baby cousin for real. She reached out her tiny little hand and grabbed hold of my finger so tight. And then my aunt said I could help give her a bath. I thought we would make super big waves to make her laugh. Splish, splash, we are taking a bath. But my aunt said she's not big enough for big splashes yet. That is too rough. We had to be so super gentle instead. I'm glad I got to practice gentleness with the feather first. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Luca. Who? Who? Being a bird today, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. No, I'm using this feather to remember to be gentle with my baby cousin. Gentleness is important. It's true. Jesus was gentle, and we all can be too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Aisha, welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see my latest creation? Ta-da! <laughs> These are my fancy feather cupcakes. I made them for my friend's party. Look at those feathers. Have you ever touched a feather? They are so soft and light and gentle, which is what today's story is about. If you're ready for a story on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, Three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus teaching a group of people. It was very exciting. Everyone wanted to talk to him. Talk to me, Jesus. Talk to me. Talk to me, the crowd said. Many parents brought their children to see Jesus. They wanted their children to be so close that Jesus could touch them. But when the little children went up to Jesus, Jesus' friends, the disciples, told the children to go away. The disciples were not being gentle. Do you know what the word gentle means? It's like when you're playing with a friend and they take your toy away. You can kindly ask for it back and not yell or use mean words. That's being gentle. In the story, were Jesus' friends being gentle? No, but Jesus was gentle. He said, wait, let the little children come to me. Jesus let them come right up to the front. He hugged them and was kind and talked to them. Was Jesus being gentle? <laughs> yes, and Jesus wants to help us be gentle too. Like when you're with a new baby. We need to be gentle with our hands and feet when we are around them. Or when your friends are playing with a puzzle but you want to play something else. Instead of shouting your angry words, you can use gentle words and ask them to play something else. You use gentle hands so you don't hurt the baby. And you use gentle words so you don't hurt your friend's feelings. Jesus can help us choose to be gentle. Jesus can help us do everything! <laughs> 
Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus was gentle with the children, and he can help us choose gentleness too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus was gentle and welcomed the children. Jesus can help me choose gentleness too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Oh, hey! One of our painted rocks has a feather on it. This can remind us to always choose gentleness. See you next time! <laughs>